Introducing Social Banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Hi, I'm Ruki Ladoja and I'm the creative director of the fashion label Grey. In three words, I would say grey clothes are fashionable, they're flexible, and they're very affordable. Our ideal target market starts from 18. She's transitioning, she's beginning to recognize her body, her functions as a woman. She's still a student, maybe in uni, that's where she starts from. She starts by buying perhaps a few tops here and there. Then when she becomes a young professional, she's buying her dresses for work, dresses to go out with her friends. And then the older she gets, she has children, her body is a bit more mature, she's still shopping. So basically, grey is for every woman. We're able to understand the female body, especially the African body. I'm able to make clothes that you can live your lives in right from the start to the end of your day. I used to do fashion in London, but it was mostly like um, made to measure for like um, um, particular clients. And then when I moved back, I was trying to decide what area of fashion I wanted to go into. I was working at UBA, and one of the things I recognized was that I didn't have anywhere to buy my clothes, like clothes for work. I wanted to buy blouses, skirts, there was nowhere. I would have to call someone and say, can you buy me clothes from England, or I have to buy it online. So it was very difficult, and I explained this to my friend Obi, who also understood what I was saying, and was like, I think that's where we should start from. We should start from high street clothing, like clothes for the average woman who just needs everyday clothes for her life. Sometimes you meet for example, because I'm, I'm old, we started four years ago, I'm older now, a lot of my friends are getting married, they're getting pregnant, so now I know that I have to include more maternity wear or more forgiving clothes in the range. So it doesn't come from one particular place, but it definitely comes from women. That's the key thing to recognize. Every season we try and base it around a theme, just to sort of have a story when we're, when we're presenting the collection. But it always comes back to um, what women want, basically. I don't want to call myself a designer. I, I think it's more like being the creative curator or director of the line. Um, but the best part about that is when you see clients, when clients come in and they wear something and it looks stunning on them and you can see how much it's changed the way they even feel about themselves, that there's so much joy in that, like that someone appreciating what we do. The, the downside of being a Nigerian designer is, I think, infrastructure. We're still lacking quite a bit of infrastructure and I mean, down from the fabric, we're trying to order fabric from um, China, it costs too much. The fabric um, here is, there's very limited quantity, so you can't, for Grey, who is trying to produce in bulk, it's a big problem for us. Um, obviously, you came here and the generator is on, those sort of issues, and of course, tailors as well. The expertise and the training that tailors get, it's very limited and there is very limited um, there are very limited avenues for them to even grow so if you're not training them in-house it becomes difficult my personal style is herbo chic it's like very comfortable very easy some people call it lazy because I'm working around a lot I'm going to the market I am here sketching screaming at tailors I need to be as comfortable as possible and not think about what I'm wearing. So most of the time my hair is slightly unbrushed, pulled to the back, a pair of jeans or a comfortable dress and flip-flops or a pair of flats. 